it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Uh, today I had my first shift as a receptionist at work. I think you saw my tweet about that. Um, Cheryl, you know, needs to take two 10-minute breaks and, and a lunch. And so they have written all employees, all non-exempt employees, into a rotation. So I'm only going to do it for her twice a month, one day. Oh, Sabrina, why did you throw those chips on the floor? Sorry, there are chips on the floor now. I'll pick them up when I'm done recording. Still recording. <laughs> uh, so I covered her two 10-minute breaks today. And then in a couple weeks, I will cover her lunch. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's like once or twice a month. No big deal. Kind of nerve-wracking. You're like talking to people on the phone and have to connect them and make sure you hit the right button and not hang up on them or anything. Um, eh, I didn't. I probably didn't screw up today. I, well, whatever. Um, I cooked really good dinner last night, which I was really proud of. I made some southwestern quinoa with, like, black beans and corn and tomato and jalapeno and onions, a little bit of chipotle and lime. It was delicious! Claire says it was delicious. And then I made um, tomato jalapeno garlic stuffed chicken to go with it. I was... Very proud of myself. Uh, in about an hour and a half, I'm going to leave here and go see the play The Bald Soprano. The Curio Company is putting it on. It's an absurdist play. I don't know much about it. I'll, you know, record you a video tomorrow and tell you about it. It appears to be, yeah, just like absurdist. People saying things that don't necessarily have to do with any kind of plot or matched up with each other. But it's the Curio, and I love the, everything the Curio does. I'm not going to see Death of a Salesman, though. I hate Death of a Salesman. It's miserable. Why would I do that to myself? Gosh, someone's really sad because the future is coming. Sucks to be you. Uh, so, yeah, not going to see Death of a Salesman. But I'm going to see the Bald Soprano tonight. And then, um, yeah, tomorrow night's homework night. I have so much to do. I might have to stay up, like, crazy late. So, you know, you might get a loopy 3 a.m. video from me again. That's always fun. Uh, your pandas are so, so cute. Uh, oh, I brought, the, I brought my copy of the book with no pictures to GKE, and I didn't even have to. Last year, uh, I had to get my assistant to be like, Galia, you should read that book, the one that says the book with no pictures. And I was like, eh, that looks kind of boring. Why would I do that? And he was like, please. And, you know, we, like, set it up ahead of time because I really wanted to read it. And this year, one of the kids was like, that book says it doesn't have any pictures. You should read that one to us. And I was like, it just happened on its own. Who am I to question it? Uh, I love that book so much. It only works once per crowd. Or rather, I think the same group of kids would be happy to read it with different adults because they think they were tricking the different adults into it. But the same adult can't read it with the same kids because the kids are going to be like, you already know the joke about this. This isn't funny anymore. I don't know, man. Kids are wily. And I am going to uh, make some dinner now and then do a little bit of homework and then go see a play. I love you. I love you so much. I don't tell you that enough. I miss you, but you're great. I love watching your videos and finding out stuff about your life. I hope you go to, like, the Quidditch World Cup or the Asian Cup. I hope you do exciting things that make you excited. I just love knowing about you and, like, interacting with you through this medium. It makes me really happy. I mean, I miss you in person. I wish I could talk to you in the face. But this is great, too. You're great. I love you. Have a nice day.